Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, tarlez -vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's yeah, good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We uh, appreciate you growling on problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done the old reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it generational thank you you are, seminars, thank so you so much appreciate it yes sir now tom o'brien <laughs> welcome folks this is tom o'brien of tfnn we go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Happy Valentine's Day out there, folks. Give a lot of love, get a lot of love. Love is unconditional. And love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason, with no justification. You are free to be what you are, and you allow others to be what they are. Try that again. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 66, NASDAQ up 135, S&P's up 28. Gold, gold contract down $3.20 straight into 2004 an ounce. We have silver up 24 cents, $22.39 an ounce, a late sweet crude. Down a buck thirty-four. Seventy-six dollars fifty-three cents a barrel notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note, trading up eleven ticks at one oh nine thirty-one. The thirty year uh, up sixteen at one eighteen fifteen in King Dollar. King Dollar trading down two hundred and where did it disappear? Two hundred and forty-two ticks. One oh four seven eighteen. The euro at one oh seven. The yen's at one fifty and the British pounds at one twenty-five to one US dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you had the CPI come out yesterday. Market trades down high. Every indice, just right across the board. It didn't matter what you had. Everything's down. So you take a look at the SPY. What we have is this. Right now, the SPY is up 320, doing 47 million shares. You gotta, we're going to bring you back to the last downdraft here, okay? Because the last downdraft might take is that's, that's what we're going to go test. And this is in the SPY, so this is an easy way to figure it out. I just had a question, do you think it's going to be a 10% correction? And I don't. The reason I don't is what I'm going to show you right now. And this is only about a 3% correction from probably where we are right now. Is that what you have is this. Is that you came off the high. Okay, we know we've been stretching it beyond belief, okay? But bottom line is you, you come off the high. You come off the high with big volume, okay? 103 million shares. But the high volume high out here is 124 million shares. So we didn't even make it to the high of the high volume bar. And the high volume bar, the top of that bar is the 489. The bottom of that bar is uh, 482. So when you have something like this, the first thing that normally happens is you get the bounce. The bounce is on light volume, okay? You get a little more of a bounce, I suspect, and then it's going to somehow try to fire off again and come down into the 482, 489 to 482 level. Now, that scenario there, folks, okay, is a bullish scenario. That's a bullish scenario. Now let me give you the bearish scenario. This would be the bearish scenario. The bearish scenario goes like this. The bearish scenario would be that you go back up to these highs, and as you're crawling back up to these highs, each and every time we, we get higher, that volume drops off again. 
Because what that would be doing is that that would be building cause. Because if it takes too long to do that, that's actually building cause. I know it's deviant for a bigger expansion on the way down. So the, just to go over it again, the quicker that you get this fired off to the downside, the more bullish it is. The longer that if we come back up, let's just picture, let's picture that it shakes it all off, it comes back up, it says, hey man, I don't care, I'm going up there. If you get up there with light volume, then that changes everything because that's too much cause being built. But that's where we settle, sit, sit right now. Let's go to the note and bond market and take a look at notes and bonds, okay? So you take a look at the note and bond market, what you have inside there. Yesterday, you come down hard and fast. Let's bring this up. The volume didn't explode like it should have. That, this is, you know, we did 2.5 million contracts, but that's still not a lot of contract volume when we were going up on 3.1. 3. 3. Three point, yeah, three, three, we had, we had a couple threes in there, okay? So today it's 1.69. This here, we're already inside the larger range again. The larger range is 109.23. We hit 109.17 yesterday. So I suspect what this is going to do, this is going to build more cause to what? To go higher once again. Now the... Dollar did exactly a 0.618 retracement of its whole move down. You know, right to the tick, too, which is really wild, man. So check this out. So a little above, actually. Yeah, just fairly above it. Okay, so we had uh, you're below it right now, but you can see what happened. You went into the monster downdraft that was out here from November. You did the 0.618. The real question is going to be, what does this dollar want to do? And then we go to the gold market. So what happened with the gold market? They destroyed the gold market yesterday, the gold contract price. That comes down hard and fast. Now, what's going to be interesting here was this just the blowout bottom inside gold. The reason I'm saying that, you can see that the, the expansion of price of volume was huge. What we also did is that it wanted to test this 2007.60. Now we did that, but you can see right now we're still at 2004. So you want, if you're in the gold market, you want this to be above 2007.60. You know, there's another range down below there, but that's the number. Now what we did out here today is that, yeah, we rejected lower price. We'll see if we get any juice in, inside of it, you know, and you, you, we'll go from there, you know, the, the NQs are the same setup. Actually, let's do the Qs. You're going to see the, the Qs are the exact same setup as the S&P. So the Qs came down hard yesterday. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't make it either. They didn't make it. Uh, what the Qs did do, though, this is interesting. Yeah, we'll be right back. We're going to talk about these cues as soon as we come back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 74. NASDAQ's up 137. S&P's are up 29. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industries up 91, Nasdaq's up 143, S&Ps are up 31. Let's go to our man Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? How are you, Tommy? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Fine, thank you. Listen, I bought New Moon Mining yesterday at 32. 200 shares. I want to pick up more at a lower price. Do you think I'll be able to pick it up? Let's take a look. And uh, Costa, you know what? I always love that hair and that voice, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. The low for Newmont, folks, is 31. The high is 52. Now, this equity, folks, okay, is, you know, one of the biggest gold equities in the world, and it's been a complete dog. I mean, the gold market itself, you know, hasn't helped it, that's for sure. So, the next, let's take a look at this. So, the their next number coming out, now this is going to get interesting, Costa. Look at this. This is, so they must have bought a mine. It must be coming on. Okay, so February 22nd, because when you see this revenue number, this is a whole different ball game. So check it out. They've been banging out uh, $2.5 billion to $2.7 billion for the last uh, six quarters, okay? This quarter here, they plan on doing $3.4 billion, okay? And they're going this year from 11.3 billion on a yearly basis to 16.1. And what happens, folks, is this: that is very hard for a gold company to do. I suspect they they probably there's something that they bought in here that's starting to kick in, or another mine starting to kick in. The bottom line is that it's a good thing. Okay. So when we take a look at this, the First off, what you want, Costa, is this, right? You want to see this get back inside the $33.50. You know, that's, that's the range, meaning if you get it back inside that range, you're going to be in good shape. Um, you know, as to it going lower, if I'm sure you heard the first part of it, I think that we actually just saw a blowout low on the gold contract. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not going to be testing involved because there always is, you know, and they're not going to make it easy. So, you know, I mean, if you try to get a few more shares, just just sit there and wait. And, you know, we hit the what the 3160 yesterday. Normally, if you're going to test again, 
it'll probably break the 31, but it'll be a spike, meaning that you go down, you spike it, the market's going to want to see if there are any more sellers below that level. If there's not any more sellers, then you're going to jump topside pretty quick. You're at a, you're at a great level right now because of this 33. Uh, 50. Because if it gets back inside 33.50, the next move is all the way up to 42. You know? So. Okay, Tommy. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have Thank a great you. one and a safe one. It's always a pleasure. Take care. Thanks, man. Let's go to John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Good, good. You missed a good show yesterday with Tim Ort. I, I can't say enough about this guy. No, I know. No, I listened. I heard. I I, I, was, I agree, man. I, I'm telling I was, you. I I was I was driving I was driving home, and the, the the stock market was down 500 points. Yep. And I'm going, and I'm listening to him really close, and he's talking about the VIX and the trend. Yes. And then he came out and he came out of nowhere and called it uh, that this is a one day or two day bottom. And we should bounce out of here. And this is great call. I mean, I got home and bought some Uber just because of his call. I love it. And, you know, yeah. Uber, big number out here today. You know, the low is 29. The high is 78. Uh, bottom line is that the uh, $9.9 billion they did in a quarter. And just to give you an idea, folks, okay, in 2020, they only did 11 billion for the year, and they just did 9.9 .9 in 90 days. And you know what they're looking at is that uh, the bottom line is that I believe this was the first. I think this is the first year that they were actually profitable. Let me see this one second. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, so that just that just put them in. 87 cents and you know the stock now this is what is really wild okay is that where we are folks in the market okay so picture two years ago we we're at highs we're at highs again but we're just barely over those highs now if you go back to uber right you get a whole different thing happening yeah. man and that is really cool because you know, Uber had a high of 64. You're already at 78. You know, so right, this is this right. is a good setup, yeah, man. This is a good setup, John. I just, you know, and this is one of these deals that, you know, like when you have a stock that is this strong and you're in a slight downdraft, it says quite a bit, man. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I think they announced today they jumped really good because they uh, are going to start buying their shares back that's correct that's correct right right yeah and then also i'm looking forward to keep this for a long term because the autonomous cars they might get into that in the future so this could be really big thing, uh, and and uh, there, there's no doubt and what you have is things it's so easy to get an Uber or get a Lyft, okay, that if you haven't done it, folks, I can tell you, once you do it, it it's really easy and it's really great. It's, it's really not that expensive if you're using it the correct way, meaning if you're out at night, if you're running to work, okay, there's, there's, there's things that really make a difference. If you're in a city, what happens, which is huge, is that because the parking is so expensive inside cities, right? You know, bottom line, people are using Ubers and Lyfts all over the place, man. So, and Tom, you, you just don't Tom, know what else he Tom, wants to develop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tom, could you imagine if their half of their fleet is, is, is robot? I mean, you know, self driving cars. Could you imagine that? That's, no, that's, that's going to, hey, listen, man, it. that it's going to happen. You know, I mean, yeah. You know, I, I can tell you something. The first time that, you know, let's see, that was probably about six or seven years ago. Now, I don't have no self-driving car. I, I got a nice sports car. <laughs> uh, but what happens is that the first time that even the lane change 
it stops you from doing that. Uh, it gives yeah. you a warning. That in itself was awesome. Yeah. I can't imagine just a real self, you know, I mean, like a Tesla, you yeah. know what I mean, the bottom line. And that's real. And, and in particular, I, what's really real, you know, like down at the Wharf in St. Pete, folks, okay, I actually saw a bus. They, have, they had a bus there last year on a test drive, right? Now, it was only going like about, you know, maybe a, let's see, a thousand yards. No, like 10,000 yards, 10, you know, thousand yards, yeah, 10 football fields, okay? But it was going all by itself, picking up people, dropping off people along the water. <laughs> now they had they had someone watching it, but just seeing that, I mean, you're talking about the middle of huge amount of traffic, folks, okay? And it was fine. Wow. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Very nice. Have a great one. Have a safe right. one. Okay, man. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials are up 124, Nasdaq's up 167, S&P's are up 36. And um, I want to go back to Newmont for a second. And, and folks, if you haven't... And there's thousands of you who have not gone and joined the Tiger's Den, right? You know, we're, we all talk about AI, okay? The Tiger's Den is one big AI for knowledge. And it's $1 a year. And the only reason we charge a dollar is that we can keep all the, you know, spams out of it or anyone who is going to be deviant or whatever, okay? 
And that being said, so when I was just talking about Newmont, right? And this is something that I should have remembered because it's such a huge freaking deal, okay? A man Z pops right in, you know, gets the answer, okay? I'm saying, okay, they must have did something. Well, Newmont folks had bought Newcrest. Newcrest was the largest gold producer in Australia and have been for years, okay? This acquisition itself is one monster. I mean, because what you also have is this. There's the, the, the changing texture of politics around the world, and I'm talking just about the gold market right now, because you gotta remember something inside the gold market. Inside the gold market, your, your first deal is that, yes, you gotta find the ore and get the ore out at the correct price, right? But right along with that is the politics behind basically mining, because mining's a dirty business, okay? And what has happened is this, is that if you ask any analyst even five years ago, do they think that we would have some problems in the mining sector in Mexico, people would say you're out of your mind, okay? Mexico was built on silver, period. I mean, you're talking about one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world, right? Until they got the last president, okay? So now, I'll just give you an idea. Watch this, Mag. This is like, this, this equity, this guy did everything correct, okay? This is Mag Silver, right? The lows 822, the highs 1442. You look at these numbers, okay? Watch this. They only have 11 people. They take in 340 million and they make money. So check this out. This is what you're going to see. Take in 340 million. They're going to make 46 cents this year, not 74 cents next year. The numbers that are still in here are good. What the market is worried about, but you can see, the, yeah, let me show you the equity. The equity has been a disaster, okay? Because what the market's still worried about, at any time, what can happen is that they can just decide that, you know what, man, we're not renewing this. We're going to pull this license from you. My, my point is, is this. You're at $8.40. The stock should be, well, here, yeah, let's look at it this way. I want to see what this is. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> you're talking about, oh my God, I think we're talking about a PE of almost one or two. That's how crazy it is, because the, the market's that worried that it's going to happen. Well, now let's go back to Newcrest for a second. Australia is one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world and will continue to be, because their whole economy, you know, it's a commodity-based economy. So anyway, if we go back over to Newmont and we take a look at Newmont, they probably bought this right at the right time, man. Because when you take a look at these numbers, what you're going to see, I mean, look at those numbers, man. You know, uh, if you believe that the price of gold is going to stay up here, well, these are big numbers, man. And on a, on a three-year run rate, now, in the part of gold, I don't know if this will be updated, they're only growing like 1.2%. Silver, however, is growing by 10%. Zinc is growing by 15%. Copper is growing by 5%. And lead's growing by 5% per year. Those are great numbers, man. Those, those are definitely great numbers. So anyway, that is what's going on with uh, Newmont. And, you know, it's real possible that that whole downdraft that we just did watch in Newmont had to do with the, you know, the market not digging the deal first, penalizing it for the deal. And guess what, folks? Time heals it all, man, because the bottom line is that all of a sudden you think that, you know, gold is at, you know, 2,000 bucks. Five years later, gold's at 3,000 bucks. It's like, oh, really? $1,000, that's 50% which gold does, okay? And to the bottom line, though, it's hundreds of billions of dollars because you're talking about 
um, millions of ounces, not thousands of hundreds of thousands of ounces. So pretty wild, man. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here. You know what's going to be interesting, folks? Have you noticed that uh, there's a story out here today? Here, yeah, let me just get this for you because this is going to be like they're, they're all claiming. Oh, and then we're going to get to commercial real estate. They're all claiming. Uh, so the, the, here it is here. The new guy, the open AI chairman, Brett Taylor, uh, dismissed concerns that his new enterprise AI chatbot startup, Sierra, could compete with uh, ChatGBT maker one day after announcing the launch of the new company. I don't really think that, uh, open, this is his quote, open AI and Sierra are competitors. Uh, Taylor said in an interview on Bloomberg today, we exist in a different layer of the stack. Um, we're customers of AI in addition to be uh, a number of other foundations. The amount, <laughs> the amount of uh, uh, incestuous relationships, folks, inside the AI business is like insane. I, I don't think I've seen anything like this since I've been in the marketplace, meaning they all claim that, um, you know, no, 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 you know, you got, you know, uh, Sam Altman out there, he's going to raise seven trillion. You get, you know, there, all these relationships, yeah, there's going to be a million conflicts. It's, it's good. That's the Wild West. That is the Wild West. But it's a, it's a good Wild West. I'm just saying that uh, putting your money <laughs> in some of these, they, people must be like, oh, my God. Okay, so I give him, you know, a couple hundred million. But I better give everyone a couple hundred million because we don't know who is going to come out on top here. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, if we get into the commercial real estate, the, the hound dogs, meaning the banking hound dogs and everyone else is trying to hold up commercial real estate, uh, it, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing in the aspect that the mantra keeps coming out that the regional banks are okay. The regional banks, folks, are not okay. The regional banks, I'm going to get you this number, I think it's 40%. On their books, they have 40% of the commercial office buildings in the United States. Listen, the commercial real estate, office buildings are worth 50% less than they were 10 years ago. 5-0. No one has that much money. And that's what Barry Stein was trying to explain, that the loss is a trillion, but no one knows quite where it is yet because they're still hiding it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 105, NASDAQ 177, S&Ps are up 38. Let's go to uh, natural gas. Let's see what we got happening out here in the good old natural gas contract. So we're running 160. You're down seven pennies out here today. No end in sight. Okay, so let's say NG1. Let me do it this way. Natural gas loves to trade like this, by the way, folks. Okay. Straight down. Okay, so let's see. Let me do a weekly first. Because I we've been down at this level before. I just want to figure out where we are. Okay, so what is this over here? Yeah, you get another 20 cents to go. 140s. We already broke out. We broke down. You know, I wouldn't be touching this thing. 140 140s the next level. It doesn't mean I can't break that either. Yeah, that's how this thing is set up right now. The, uh, if we go take a look at, yeah, Taseko. You got movement here, man. This is this is where this gets interesting, the whole copper deal in general. Okay, so you can see to take us up a buck, uh, no, but uh, twelve cents, one fifty-one. But what's sticking out like a sore thumb here? We put this up, and what you're going to see, I think we broke it now. Yeah, we did. Okay, so this is on its way up to this. Uh, 190 area you can see i mean this is this is like a classic man do you know what i'm saying you you, you went higher you pull all the way back you have light volume Taseko has had two nice signs of strength we had one um nine weeks ago and you had one three weeks ago now this will be another one right now because we're rolling up well we're on Wednesday, we'll see. But you can see what's happening. It's breaking that deal. That means it's going higher. Now listen to this number, man. This is crazy. But we know that Kathy Wood is one of the best marketers in the world. But when you just see this, this just came across the Bloomberg, okay? The headlines is Kathy Wood lost $14 billion, but she's still interesting. <laughs> so listen to this, man. This is crazy. Okay, so... This is saying, this is from 2022, right? Okay, so long shot equity funds. Now this is all her funds together. That's what it is. On the contrary, many providers of mutual funds, exchange traded funds, her ARC investment management, top the chart in wealth destruction. It's family of ETS, ETFs, which manage 16 billion as of 2023, wiped out $14.3 billion in shareholder value in the past 10 years, according to Morningstar. That being said, miraculously, most investors stayed after gaining huge inflows in 2020 and 2021. Withdrawals have been fairly muted. People are sticking around because Wood's pitches are interesting. She's been buying the dip in Tesla, even as Wall Street sours on the stock, 
because demand for electric vehicles is slowing. Wood nailed her bull case prediction of 2018. Some would argue her stardom role rose with that conviction call. Yeah, it, it definitely did, okay? But consider her exposure to artificial intelligence and then questioned by uh, skeptics when she sold NVIDIA. Even massive losses can turn into a positive gain at ARC. Imagine years of tax write-offs. I don't think many people understood what an asset we have in terms of those tax loss carry forwards, Wood has said. <laughs> you got to love it, man. Anyway, pull the article, man. I mean, but you see, the bottom line is that this is how Wall Street runs, folks, okay? You know, and if we, if we go back to the commercial real estate for a second. So what's happening in the commercial real estate also is this, right? So picture the, in the commercial real estate, folks, what ends up happening is that, you know, normally those loans are about 10 years, okay? And they're only interest, they get a balloon payment at the end, okay? So, you know, on some of these, you're starting to come up with this whole deal. Now, the same companies that are actually giving back the keys, okay, taking losses of 40, 45, percent have also just raised billions of dollars to buy discounts inside the office market. The real question is, this is what the real question is. The question is, what is the market for them? And is it still too early? And we, we know that there's billion, been billions made many times, you know, going in, buying the blood. The real question is, is that, is there another leg down or not? And hey, we'll see. Wait, I mean, that, to me, the risk is still a little bit too high because there hasn't been enough transactions. And, and what ends up happening, I will never forget when the Wang building in Boston got sold on auction. And that was, that was the bottom of the market. But the bottom line is that no one was bidding. I think it went for uh, $100,000. We're talking about you know, a couple hundred million or 100 million or whatever. Because what it was, it wasn't the aspect of the building. It was the aspect of taking care of the building, paying the taxes on the building, even if they were going to be reduced dramatically. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of ins and outs there. But when you cut to the chase, the chase is that the regional banks are hiding as much as they can hide. You know, that, that's what it really comes down to. And, you know, someone's going to, uh, I suspect, well, they won't give us the numbers. Because whoever really does do the work and figures that out, um, you know, uh, if they have to mark them to market, which they will at some point, you know, because what ends up happening is that the further, the more deals that actually get done, the more that pressure is going to come on that you don't have enough in reserves. So I suspect the next thing will be you'll have people putting a lot more in reserves which will hit the market in general, will hit the regional market, not, not the stock market. But I think, that, now, now let's go to the interest rate structure, because now what we're talking about is that when you actually take a look at the, let me see if I can, um, and if you're wondering, see, the, the Fed could stop this right now. The real question is, is that, um, do they want to? That's what it comes down to. Let's go to John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Okay. Cool. So what are we going to look at here? Rydex Precious Metals. It's R-R-Y-P-M-X. Okay, good. You just stay there. We'll take a quick break. As soon as we get back, we're going to look at uh, the Rydex Precious Metal Fund. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Dow. Dow's up 118, Nasdaq's up 191, S&P's up 41. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're talking with John from New York, and we're talking about the Rydex uh, uh, Precious Metal Fund. You know, John, I like what this looks like. I, I like what it has inside it. Uh, you know, they look like blue chips, right? They are, man. Okay. There, and not only that, you got ten percent is Freeport MacMoran, seven percent's Newmont, seven percent's Barrick, six point seven's an Eco Eagle. You get wheat and precious metal six percent. Then you get some funds, you just government bonds at six uh, percent. Franco Nevada Goldfields, they got, they got. This is a nice portfolio, man. Um, you know, I, I, your expense ratio is 1.37, so it's you know a dollar 37 out of 100 bucks, folks. Okay, I, if you own it, I'd stay right there, John. It's this is that's. I'm thinking of adding to it. Is is it uh, too early? I I think this is the time. You're gonna hold your nose, man. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's. It's one of those deals. I'm only waiting for a couple more days. I was going to go right back at it today, but I'm thinking that because I think that the S&P is going to go test that lower level, John, that I think gold will do the same thing. So maybe wait a bit. Do you know what I mean? But this is a great portfolio, man. I can tell you that. This is much better than the HUI, the, you know, XAU, I mean, it's set up nice that, you know, you get the copper in, inside it with that Freeport Mac Moran plus the gold, okay? Because when you go to, watching to take a look at this, Freeport, 
do this one. Let me take a look at this. This set up here, folks, okay, with Freeport Mac Moran ratios, revenues. Here we go. Okay, so when you take a look at it, I mean they have they have copper out at six billion. Gold's at nine billion. I mean they, they got yeah, they got some nice deals here, man. I I'd stay right there and, you know, you want to add some? Maybe wait a week. Cooking, brother. Thank you. Thanks, man. Always remember, folks, the bank and Chloe out of the bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Happy Valentine's Day, folks.